You there? Okay. What's going on, guys? I got this is a special video. This really is. Okay. You you might just think it's a normal um, reaction video, and, and it is. But it does it does have a, a special twist to it, and I cannot wait to show you why. So. I've got hit up, you know, a, a, a few times, my, my Instagram um, message box, my DMs. A few people have slid into the DMs, just like that. And um, I did receive one thing, the first of many, hopefully. And um, it's a t-shirt, and it's got my favorite number on it. And I didn't request that number, so thank you, mate. You did a fucking good job. You did a real good job choosing my favorite number. It's a nice t-shirt, it's a perfect size. Can you, can you guess, well you probably can guess which team it's from because you can see what reaction this is from, but basically guys, I'm going to put that t-shirt on, I'm going to shout you out mate, and I'm going to look at a legendary player from that team, and I think the one I'm going to do is Eric Berry. I've heard, him, I've heard his name a few times, I don't know exactly why, I don't know what position he plays, but we're going to watch him, so just hang on a sec. Nick Minnett. Boom! How do I look? Oh, feels good, man. It feels fresh. Perfect size, like I said. Absolutely perfect. XL. Thank you, thank you, thank you once again. This is, this is epic. This is amazing. This is a community that we're building, guys. And it looks as if the person I'm repping is actually Kareem Hunt, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe I should do him. Maybe I should, but you know what? First of all, we're going to go... I'm going to look up if it is Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt, number 27 for the Kansas City Chiefs. He made 1,327 yards last year. Wow. Okay, that's really decent. Maybe I should look at Kareem Hunt first. But first of all, I've got to, I've got to, before I do anything, I've got to give you a shout out, my friend. And your name is Dane. Instagram name, The Book of Dane. Dane Miller. What an absolute legend, man. He said, check out Arrowhead Stadium. It's the loudest open-air stadium in the world. 142 decibels. And there's a video from 1990 where the noise, noise from the crowd was so loud, it was causing the goalpost to shake. It was against Denver, if you can find it. All right. Well, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Before anything. I think I'm going to make this into three videos, guys. We're going to look at... Shit, what do I do? It's... it's ah, oh. Kansas City Chiefs. The only thing I've known... I've ever known about Kansas... The only time I've ever heard Kansas is uh, in The Wizard of Oz, for obvious reasons. So, this is going to be really interesting. Kansas City Chiefs... Uh, crowd... World record night, Monday night football, Chiefs vs Patriots, Kansas City Chiefs, Tomahawk Chop, loudest crowd in the world, Tomahawk Chop, what is the Tomahawk Chop, Kansas City Chiefs, Tomahawk Chop, the Kansas City Chiefs started using, the Tomahawk Chop is a sports celebration most popularly used by the fans of the American Florida State University, Atlanta Braves baseball team, Kansas City Chiefs football team, and an English Exeter Chiefs rugby union team. Huh. The action involves moving the forearm forwards and backwards repetitively with an open palm to simulate... <laughs> what? To simulate a Tomahawk chopping. Atlanta Braves also developed a foam tomahawk to complement the fans' actions. The action has caused controversy as a symbol of appropriation of Native American culture. The tomahawk chop... What? What's like this? With an open palm. Forwards and... Moving the forearm forwards and backwards. <laughs> okay... The tomahawk chop was... Oh, here we are. Kansas City Chiefs started using the chop when FSU graduate conductor of the Northwest Missouri State University Band played the FSU war chant during a match against the Buffalo Bills. A foam tomahawk. So it's led to complaints that it's made fun of the Native American culture. Okay. Well, 
What are you going to do, man? In 2016, Native American groups asked the Kansas City Chiefs to stop doing the tomahawk chop. Okay. Well, I can understand that. The indigenous don't appreciate it. I live in Alice Springs. There's plenty of indigenous people around here. In fact, the Australian Aboriginals are the most ancient culture in the world. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm surrounded by all sorts of cultures, all sorts of races, all sorts of ethnicities, and I love it. So, anyways, I'm not sure if I should be doing the tomahawk chop, guys. I don't know. But let's look at this. The Guinness World Record for the loudest crowd in the world. Ball first as the won the toss. The tomahawk shot! Okoye! Is that Christian Okoye? It looks like him. Is it? It is him! Oh, this is... Fuck it, I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. Man, I'm not drunk right now, but man, if I was drinking in that crowd, I would just be yelling at the top of my lungs, man. I gotta get there, man. I gotta get there. I'll probably get there with you, my friend. My friend who, who, who sent me this, we've gotta do this. You were the first one. You know, this is epic, man. Get out of here, Patriots! That is sick, man. <laughs> Let's look at another one. The tomahawk chop. <laughs> chop! Chiefs! Chiefs Nation! So that must be the song. Chief Stadium, eh? I'll get there. I'll fucking get there. Don't you worry. Oh, here we go, man. I gotta watch this. Okay, this is. We're gonna finish it on this one, alright? Heart of Kansas City. The Chiefs' passionate fans and bond with the city. I, I actually watched another video uh, quite like this. I think it was the same. I think it was Heart of Green Bay. The Green Bay passionate fans and their bond with the team. So, so we're going to do the same about the Kansas City Chiefs. Cool. Today, it's the Raiders and Chiefs, both teams in contention for a division title. Understand, this is the playoff I have. Oh, 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 oh. So how do you break out of this kind of slump? You start at the very beginning and know this, no problem is impossible. That guy's loving it with the flag. People talk about Kansas City as, is it in the middle of nowhere? But we like to say it's in the middle of everything. Is it in the middle of nowhere? Kansas City. I should probably do a little bit of research, shouldn't I? Oh, it looks does look like it's in the... In the middle, right in the middle. Huh. How many people live there? Kansas City is the largest city in the US state of Missouri. The city had an estimated population of 488,943 in 2017, making it the 37th largest city by population in the United States. Okay. Well, that's interesting because Christchurch, the, the city that I'm from, um, has about 500,000 people, so similar size. I 
love is affinity for music, all kind. It is a true cross-section of all kinds of folks. It's a fabulous place to live the rest of your life. Once you're Chiefs! Well, I've been here a long time. I go all the way back to, oh, I, I guess, oh. Super Bowl IV. That's the way to go, Leonard. You've done good, kid. Lady Dawson, listen to the crowd. Nice going, Leonard. That was the first Super Bowl that we won. World champion, baby. Nice going. Yeah. How sweet it is. And you can't believe the number of people that were outside waiting for us to let us know how important it was for them. I Kansas City, a feeling of, hey, we got it here too. There he is. New York and some of the other big places. The greatest day in the history of Kansas City. I tell you, I've never been. You ain't in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. No, no I'm not. To see the Chiefs win a Super Bowl, but what it would mean to Kansas City and me as a Chiefs fan, it's one of the biggest bucket lists of my life. It was part of my wedding vows. Probably the moment where I locked into being a diehard Chiefs fan is watching a guy named Dante Hall. This Dante Hall. Human well, I know the human joystick. Yes, we've met. Dick. A particular play would have to be against the Denver Broncos. Yeah, this one. He goes all the way there, goes all the way back, all the way around. Backtracking, something you would see on the game of Madden. Insane. He beat the whole team and took off. Dante Hall's going to do it again. The human joystick. Couldn't believe that when I first saw it. X Factor kind of sucked me in pretty good. At Arrow, uh -oh. there's always somebody that gets to beat the drum. Oh, who gets to beat the drum? Terrace, you know, <laughs> and I was very, very. Fuck. Do you reckon I could beat the drum? <laughs> Fortunate to be able to beat that drum. Oh, that's sick, that's man. A once in a lifetime thing, and, and I'll never, ever, ever forget it. 27. Car to throw under pressure. The ball floats up in the air. Intercepted. Terrence Mitchell tracked the football down like a honey dog. I've been with the Chiefs. They tell me this is my 35th year. I'm not sure I believe it, but that's what they say. <laughs> I pack every player's travel bag myself. That's and cool, I know man. each player's own specific things that they use. This guy is a legend. No doubt. No doubt about it, man. This is a grassroots football legend right here. And there's probably a few of them in every team, but man... It's guys like this, it's stories like this that I just love. I love it. 35 years, he knows every player, he knows all of their nuances. That's awesome, man. He would have seen so much change. Or maybe not. Wrist braces or certain shoes. I take a lot of pride in that, and I know the players appreciate that. Today is the 20th playoff start for Joe Montana. We were playing our first playoff game here in years. It was cold, and Joe had never played with gloves before. And over the middle, it's incomplete. Did sorry, guys. I'm to did Montana. Uh, Joe Montana is actually a guy who has been requested a shitload. And if he is a Kansas City Chiefs guy, then I'm going to have to do a, a reaction. Aren't I? The comeback kid. Well, I won't read too much. But what 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 team did he play for? I oh, played for the Chiefs in his comeback. Okay, well we're gonna have to look at that. <laughs> I'm standing next to him on the sideline and we're talking and he says, I just don't I don't know what, what's going on. And I said, Joe, I said, you've never played with gloves. And he looked down at his hands and he takes the gloves off and hands them to me. And then goes on this tremendous run back and win the game in overtime and it was an article in the paper about these gloves that next day and so they went and got a copy of it and framed them and put them in our hall of fame which are up there today 
<laughs> That's cool. Sunday is my church. Welcome to Arrowhead. Smokers are Thank cool. you. It smells of barbecue. You've got people playing bags, and we're all just having a great time. Yeah, I'll humbly tell you, I came up with the Chiefs Kingdom moniker because it is a sense of family. The Chiefs Kingdom is way beyond football. It brings rural and urban together. It combines race, creed, and color. They all come together under the Chiefs Kingdom flag and under the arrowhead. And for at least a while, they're all one. Chuck Kendrick West is it. He'll get a right side run at the 10. Inside the 5, Chuck Kendrick West. Dragging Raiders all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. <laughs> is that what they look like? I've never seen in the middle, in, in a uh, commentary box before. That's hilarious. That's awesome. They're standing. You know, it would give you freedom. You don't have to sit down to do this shit. I think I'd stand if I was doing commentary too. I really do. That's awesome, man. I'm gonna watch that again. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Legend. can't fake this job. You have to have passion. This organization is uh, my identity. And uh, and I think that's what uh, makes it easy for me to come in and give the passion that I do every day. Whoa. I think they believe in it. Shivers, now, man. But they stay on course that they'll have a shot to go back to the Super Bowl. I hope I get to experience that day. Walking down those stairs to my seats, it makes me feel like a kid. It just makes me feel like I'm home. Hmm. That is sick, man. And we're going to call it there, alright? If you have liked this video, please press like. If you want to subscribe for more, please do. I'm going to be back here very shortly to watch Kareem Hunt. I'm going to watch... Who? Uh, Joe Montana, Kareem Hunt, and let me look up this guy. Eric Berry. He's an American football safety for the Chiefs. And he's played since 2010. So on February 28th last year, the Chiefs signed Berry to a six-year, $78 million contract. He remained the starting strong safety to start the season. He started and recorded seven combined tackles before leaving in the fourth quarter after sustaining an apparent Achilles injury. The following day, the Chiefs announced that he had ruptured his Achilles and that he would miss the rest of the season. On September 9th, the Kansas City Chiefs officially placed him on injured reserve and he underwent surgery three days later. Okay. Okay. So is he coming back? I need to see a news story on him. Eric Berry, 2018. Okay. He looks fantastic in off-season training. Eric Berry will fix Chiefs defense. We'll just watch this. In the this wake case. of a disappointing season for the Kansas City Chiefs, there was some suggestion that maybe Coach Andy Reid would be moving on from longtime defensive coordinator Bob Sutton. And Reid took the opportunity on Wednesday to shoot down that notion that Sutton will be going anywhere. Now, some Chiefs fans may not be happy about that, but that's just the way it is. There were some defensive lapses in 2017, but a lot of those trace to the fact that Eric Berry, the star safety, was lost with the torn Achilles way back in week one. The defense really wasn't the same, wasn't as good as it could have been without him. They do need to make some tough decisions. They do need to think about areas of the roster that need to be improved. And they do need to try to improve the execution of the defensive game plan and schemes in 2018. But regardless, Bob Sutton will continue to be the defensive coordinator and Andy Reid will be back to calling the plays now that Matt Nagy, the offensive. All right, so Eric Berry, he's coming back strong. He's coming back from an Achilles injury, which is not easy, man. I, I don't even know, I can't, couldn't imagine what kind of pain would go through your leg, uh, you know, popping your Achilles like that. Eric Berry was once clocked at 4.38 seconds for the 40-yard dash. Wow, he had a 10.6600 meters. He is fast, man. He's quick. Cannot wait to watch him. All right, guys, we're definitely finishing it here. I've done the outro. You, you guys know what to do. Like the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys back here shortly. Peace out.